Hey everybody, it's Joe, the UCX guy, here to talk about a Cisco 7970 phone set up on the UCX50 for me Metrotel as a SIP phone. So let me just go ahead and show you how the phone works. It is pretty similar to when it's on the Cisco call manager platform. Uh, if you want to make a call, dial 7, which is the outside code on my system. Good day. So it's pretty simple. You just dial like you would on the Nortel phones. And then if you want to do a page, you can simply um, program a page button into the phone. Bill, you have call 93, Bill 93. So a page is just like the Nortel phones on the system, and it's going to happen with any SIP phone, whether it's a Polycom, Grandstream, uh, Siemens, Avaya, any type of SIP phone will work identically on this switch. So uh, another cool feature is if I am going to, let's initiate a call to this phone. So I'm getting a call from the operator. I answer. So let's say I want to park that call. This is one of the interesting tricks. It works a little bit different than just the park button. You, you have to actually transfer to the parked extension. So I programmed the parked extension is 524 on the system. But I'm going to go ahead and I programmed a button up there. Let's transfer. Now it's going to announce. Five, two, five. Then I press transfer again. Um, my other phone says the call's parked. Then I can actually announce. John, you have a call parked on 525. John, 525. And then I can go to any other phone, such as this 7324, and press 525. And I'm now connected to this phone. As you can see. So the SIP phone is pretty similar, and actually let's make an external call coming into this phone. You can see how advanced the display is. Good day. So it brings up the same information that it would on the Nortel phone. And let's say I have a missed call. I can actually go down to the directory button and then press missed calls and it's telling me all my missed calls. So let's say I want to call this one back, all I have to do is press dial. Or let's say I want to call another, um, let's end that. Let's say I want to call another number in my list and see how it doesn't have the area code. Let's see here. Let's call, hmm, let's get a received call. Let's say I want to edit this one right here. I can go to edit and then I can type the access code and then one and then dial. And I'm connected. Good day. So this phone is actually really cool. It works really well on the UCX. It's quite easy. Oh, let's actually leave a voicemail for it as well. Let's see, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to leave a direct voicemail. On the UCX you can actually dial uh, star and then let's do it on the speakerphone. The person at extension 4460. Hey Joe, it's Joe. Give me a call back. And the message, the waiting light comes on, and the little flashing mailbox comes on, and then I can just press I have this programmed in. Call pilot from Nortel Networks. Mailbox. Password. You have one first message. It didn't actually Press record three because for I. Options. So it didn't actually record because I didn't have the uh, handset connected on the 1150. But that's just exactly how you pick up your messages. So there's a lot to see here. Uh, I'll try to do other videos showing more of these uh, SIP phones and how the actual 
Um, third party SIP phones work with the Nortel phones. But as you see, it's pretty cool. You have a Cisco phone, you have the Nortel phones, you have the digital phones, you have the i2000 phones, you know, pretty much everything um, that you can imagine. And all working on the UCX. Pretty cool. Thank you and have a great day.